Hey royalty, hey empress, hey empresses. How are y'all doing today? This video is going to be for Leo, Summer Rising Venus and North Node. If you are new here, welcome. Thank you so much for joining me on my channel. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe, y'all. First things first, I only have one YouTube page, one Instagram page. Don't get scammed. You can only book a personal reading with me using my website, which will be listed down below in the description box. And I'm sending y'all an abundance of peace, love, and light always. May Father God continue to protect you, love you, keep you safe, bless you. I hope you are having a beautiful and blessed day, and I hope you have a beautiful and blessed week. Let's begin. Angels, ancestors, spirit guides of the highest white light, please come down and protect me. Please come down and give me clear messages straight from the divine. Archangel Michael, Holy Spirit, please come down and protect me, guide me, and keep me safe. And please come down and protect and guide the viewers that have clicked on this video today. What are the messages today for Leo? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and North Node. What does Leo need to know? Please and thank you, Leo. Oh, so you have air around you. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, energy, and then Capricorn popped out too. So you guys could have this in your birth chart. You guys could be connecting to one, but with the air energy popping out, this is you guys letting things, like, you guys letting things flow. You're going with the flow. You're going with divine flow. Okay, this is like you... Who else got this energy? Taurus, I think, got this yesterday. Okay, it's something about you guys are flying over conflict, flying over drama, flying over issues. You guys are also being very clear in regards to your communication. Air energy is all about communication. It's also about knowledge. So you guys could be in an energy where you guys could be learning more, studying more. Okay, it could be a focal point around knowledge or around your communication. Okay, yeah, you guys could also just... Be focusing on being alone. I see you guys like being to yourself, being alone, you know, just focusing on you at this time. Yeah. And with the Ten of Cups being here, it's something about you building or having a true family unit. You having true, healthy, you know, loving, equal, balanced connections in your life at this time. You could definitely be reflecting over people in your family, over people that you could have considered family, people that you have like deep, close bonds to at this time with the Ten of Cups. Your table's also getting ready to be filled. Like, I don't know what you guys are working on or what you are doing with the Ten of Cups, but Father God is going to make sure that your table is full of blessings, okay? And this is whatever you guys have been wanting, manifesting, calling towards you. Your table's going to be full, literally, okay? You also are a messenger. Make sure that you speak out. Make sure that you are speaking your truth. Make sure that you are genuine. You are real. You are in your authentic energy because that is how you are going to be able to attract in things that are actually going to bring you that emotional happiness, that fulfillment on a deep level. It's about you knowing yourself. Yeah, the strength card. You guys could be praying. There you go with your energy, Leo. <laughs> strength card. That's also very, very lucky for you to pop out in your energy. The number eight could be significant as well. I see y'all are praying about blessings. Y'all are praying about money. The number eight is all about money, wealth, material gain. Okay, this is the, yeah, this is money coming in. This is wealth coming in. And with the strength card coming in, I'm talking to someone who's a prayer warrior. You guys get on your hands and knees and you guys talk to God directly and God hears you. Okay, you guys were able to overcome some type of trial, some type of tribulation as well by your prayers. You guys have divine protection around you. This is also you healing your inner child, you healing inner wounds. It's something about you being in deep reflection. I'm not seeing the hermit card, but I'm just picking up on that energy of like when you guys are in like introspection, deep reflection, you guys are really going within and thinking back about your childhood. Okay, thinking back about family even or certain connections where you guys could have felt ostracized or you guys could have felt like you were unheard or misunderstood. You are healing that energy at this time with the strength card. You're healing it. And Father God is giving you the strength to overcome that, to get through it, to work through it, to release it. This is beautiful energy. You guys are also attracting in people of purpose. Woo! Oh my God, I don't know about that. <laughs> that was a deep message. People of purpose. People of purpose. Not even just people of power. You know, that's so like, you know, no. You're attracting in people of purpose. People that are going to have like, that are doing something within their life that ew, you're going to be a part of it as well. With the lover's card, this is beautiful divine energy coming in with the six. This is balance being restored. Six is also in my, like, um, give me the infinity. It's something about the infinity symbol as well. Equilibrium, divinity. You're meeting someone that's just as divine as you. 
Who with the lovers card? This is the divine connection. This even be a Gemini that you guys are getting ready to meet. You got have Gemini in your birth chart. Ooh, this is beautiful energy. Yeah, don't spend too much time, okay, in regards to like waiting on things or thinking about things or saying, okay, is this for me or should I go through this? Yes. Should I do this? Yes. Should I take action towards this? Yes. Yes, you should. Yes. Don't take too, don't, don't be sitting in too much contemplation. Take action. Favor, favor, fortune favors action. Literally. Yeah, and you guys could be fearful of doing something. It's like Father God is saying, you have the strength that you need. Let go of any type of fear. This also could have been an energy around you that could have been making you fearful of going after things. Taurus could be significant as well. Let's see here. Somebody here could be like trying to make you question your work. Yeah, but I see you manifesting in success and it's coming. <laughs> you guys were waiting on recognition, success. Fulfillment, it's all about you trusting where you're being divinely guided towards, literally, because it's leading you towards blessings. Yeah, use your discernment at this time as well with the Six of Swords. You guys are also being guided away from someone that could have tried to outsmart you, could have tried to put you in conflict, drama, or discord. People could have really tried to fight you in regards to certain blessings that are meant to come in during this time, but they cannot stop God. They cannot stop God's hand from blessing you and from giving you things that are rightfully yours. Like, people got to use this they not really turn it on <laughs> i forgot what this means i don't know who she is and i loved it i wanted to post it she was like turn it on <laughs> that's what i'm seeing somebody needs to turn it on i forgot who posted that it was a meme on twitter i don't know who she is but i know she's from new york and she's really big she's like an influencer oh man if y'all know who I'm talking about, <laughs> tell me in the comments. Somebody here needs to turn it on. They need to turn their brain on. They thought they could fight you in regards to God blessing you. Look at the table that you have. Like, and this is the second time I didn't see this table. Look at the table, y'all, with the cups. Like, literally, with the cups. <laughs> literally. Literally. <laughs> This is major blessings on the way, major abundance on the way towards you. This is also a prayer that's getting ready to be answered because you guys used your discernment. Okay, with the Queen of Swords, you guys could have been also diplomatic, very fair, very just in regards to a decision or a situation or in regards to taking necessary steps to bring this about. It is, it's happening. Yeah, it's some type of leap of faith that y'all did. Y'all trusted in God, y'all trusted in self, and now it's, it's leading you to your purpose. It's leading you towards a major blessing that's actually aligned with you. Oh, my gosh. Tell me about this Six of Swords. <laughs> y'all, what popped out? The Ten of Cups, y'all got it twice. Y'all have the Nine of Cups and the Ten of Cups. This is like one of the, like, let's, oh, what? These are like top happy cards in tarot. I couldn't even have, I couldn't even hit it out. These are like the top cards of happiness. And this is going to shock you for some of you guys. It's like the way your life is getting ready to change. It's really going to take you off guard because you guys could have been really consistent or like really like persistent in regards to getting things done or implementing certain things about yourself, standards, boundaries. You know, like really implementing and keeping yourself safe, really moving away from drama, conflict, discord, people that just mean you no good. And it's like you don't see you're about to have everything you want plus more. It's like what you thought you were going to get, God is going to amplify that. You have the nine of cups and the ten of cups out. This is a prayer being answered. This is you being able to build a, a, a family unit for yourself or you being able, being able to create like healthy bonds with people. You guys could also be getting ready to get married. Okay, this could also be interracial dating. You guys could be meeting someone. You guys could have children at this time or someone you're meeting has children. You guys could be blending families. I'm also seeing you guys are getting ready to meet someone where you guys are meant to have children or they're going to be very blessed or gifted children, okay, that are meant to be conceived. This is beautiful energy that's getting ready to come towards you. And it's all about you listening to your intuition and where you are being guided towards. Someone here did not want you to have this happiness or they did not want you to have this blessing. It could have been an earth sign with the page of pentacles or a Capricorn. Somebody here was very dark, okay? And they were trying to offer you like the bare minimum with the page of pentacles scraps, little to nothing, okay? And that's not what you're meant to have. You're meant to have the ten of pentacles. And somebody was ready to offer you the page of pentacles. 
but you're meant to have the ten of pentacles okay make it make sense for me they gotta turn it on <laughs> Somebody don't have it on. <laughs> Literally, Father God is saying, look at look what you're about to have. This is an abundant lifestyle. Blessings within your career, a promotion, a raise, inheritance, generational wealth. You building an empire for yourself, for your family unit, for your lineage, for your bloodline, your career, your 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 business. If you guys are a business owner, this is getting ready to take off for you. I'm talking to someone who's gonna be the first millionaire, if not billionaire, in their family. And people could have tried to like I don't mean to say it, but some people could have, like, tried to plot, plot to, like, take you out, okay? People could have tried to plot to, like, keep you stuck or really tried to block this blessing because they didn't want you to have it. They didn't understand that it was yours or why is you. Somebody in particular, okay, you could have definitely, like, wanted to build a life or family with this person. You may even have children with this person. This is someone that is very dark with the Page of Pentacles, very selfish, very self-centered, stuck in their head. Okay, yeah, you made a quick move and that brought in a major ending. It brought in a tower moment to someone. It caused something to be completely over, done with. You guys have learned the lesson and that's why this major blessing is getting ready to come in with the Ten of Pentacles. This is you never having and wanting to need for a dollar. You never having wanting to you never having to worry about a roof over your head. God will forever provide for you with the Ten of Pentacles. As long as you rock and continue to stay in the light, continue to be in your authenticity, continue to rock with Father God. Okay, continue to turn away from temptation. You will forever be loved. Okay, with the two of cups. This is something about God ooh, immensely loving you. Like I love you, but God loves you so much more. Like literally, with the two of cups, you're about to meet someone that God is sending in that's going to show you how much he truly loves you. This is beautiful, and it's because of something that you have done. You guys were able to overcome, you know, the strength card and the sun beats the devil. You guys were able to beat some type of toxicity. This is your energy, Leo, with the strength card. And that's why there's a brand new beginning taking forward, taking, taking like being presented for you. Okay, somebody here tried to sabotage this new path. They tried to sabotage it. It could have even been an Aquarius. Somebody here wanted to put you in a place of poverty or an earth sign. And it's like, while well, they start up high and mighty with the king of pentacles. So somebody here, literally, they could be like a business owner, a boss, a CEO. They could have a lot of money. They could have a lot of wealth. Okay, this person wanted you to be in a place of poverty while they were like either mooching off of you, using you. Okay, this is uh-uh. This is a no. Yeah, the king of swords, and he wanted to come out in the reverse. Somebody here was very emotionally manipulative. This is a karmic to you, not your person. And they didn't want you to see this. This person is mentally unstable. They're not wrapped right. Okay, the king of swords in the reverse lacks empathy. They lack love. They could even be like borderline. Um, I don't even want to say that, but I'm hearing it. Like somebody here could have deep mental issues that could be even un undiagnosed. But they can know how to like maneuver through life. It, it, oh my gosh. But they know. They know they have issues. Somebody here knows this. They didn't want you to realize or come to terms with understanding this. Especially with the moon card. Somebody here is, is not. They have delusions. Oh my goodness. They don't have any type of clarity in their life at all. Somebody here is like they, they're ruthless. This is a very ruthless individual that you could have been married to, divorced. Or you could have literally like moved away from, <clears throat> started a new life without with the King of Swords and the Reverse and the Queen of Swords. You guys see the truth about somebody's very manipulative, dark. This is someone who's a true narcissist. The King of Swords in the Reverse is somebody who's truly full of themselves. They will step on your neck, lie, lie to lie, lie, lie on paper, lie on legal documents. Somebody here is a master manipulator. They are a con artist. They will are. Mm, and they did not want you to see the truth about them, but you guys have. And that's why you guys have success in your life because of it, literally. You guys were also determined to listen to your intuition, and that is what kept you safe. Scorpio energy is here. Libra is here as well. Or This is just you truly loving yourself. You guys are truly determined to get to a place of love, of peace, of harmony within. And that's what brought in protection from this individual here. Yeah. It's something about you moving away and you keeping things to yourself at this time with the hermit, okay? I don't know what direction you're going towards, but people are watching to see what you're doing. So you need to be very mindful, okay, in regards to what you share, especially if you are moving at this time with the two of wands. All right, y'all, I hope this resonated with you. May peace and blessings be to you always, and I will be seeing you on the next video.